Well, look, there's two ways of looking at this. You can say results have gone their way, but you can also say results have still got to go their way. If we have a look at the way the table sits after tonight, you've got Everton, Tottenham, West Ham sitting above them. All of those teams have to avoid winning and Arsenal have to win for them to get into the Europa League next season. They need someone to stumble. Yeah, they, they stumbled today, so that was a good thing. So Arsenal's still in it. But of course, it's a big ask for all of them, uh, none of those three teams to win. But uh, the chance is still there, so fingers crossed. Ever the optimist? Always. It's lovely seeing West Ham where they are. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> Here we are, still having a conversation on. about Arsenal and it's straight to West Ham. <laughs> they're one all at the moment, by the way. I mean, they're in the box seat now, aren't they? They are. And with the home game to play, I mean, it's, it's, it's extraordinary times at West Ham. But going back to Arsenal and going back to Arteta, since the, he's right, since you have to give credit, I feel with Arsenal over the last few years as well, you know, there's been a a lot of infighting with the fans has been, you know, against the owners, against the manager, against the sporting director, whoever's bringing the players in. So for him to sh quietly go about his business, blood the youngsters, Saka, Smith Rowe, Martinelli, three of the most influential players in the team, in and, in and amongst it at the moment, he's done a, he's done a good job. But there's still, there's still things they need to improve on. But it's a great club, Arsenal. And, and, and where they are at the moment mm. is not acceptable. And the people in charge, Edu... Arteta himself, whoever is in charge of the players coming in the summer, is so important for them to get the right characters in the dressing room to bring this team up. The form has been good since Christmas. As he said there, we didn't expect to be here. They were 11 points off the Europa League spots. They are now within touching distance, but it's still a long shot. Regardless of where they finish this summer, what do they really need to think about long and hard at Arsenal? Yeah, where they want to be. It's been a long time for... Uh probably the Arsenal fans to be disappointed. Uh, I think they have the core of the young players coming through. They do love the club and uh, they have a lot of talent, which is the most important thing. But it's uh, a little bit on a budget. What can they get? And I think the, it's a big thing in the end of the season if they get into Europe or not, because will, let's say, the young top talents or players that are better players, will they want to stay? So there's a lot of variables uh, going around. It's been five years, though, since they were a Champions League team. But it's not just about getting into Europe, it's about getting back to there, isn't it? Yeah, no, of course it is. But I'm saying maybe then they feel like enough is enough. I've been trying for four or five years. How long have you been in the club? And I haven't played Champions League and that's why I'm here. So um, that's what uh, well, hopefully they get into Europe uh, on the last day.